Hi everyone, Chrissy from the Children's Museum Easton. I am here with my son, Nicholas, and we are in our kitchen and about to show you um, a really, really cool experiment. It's called Bouncing Egg. Um, I was super excited to do this one, um, being home with social distancing because it takes multiple days to do this activity. And usually when I go to a school um, or a math and museum doing um, experiments, we only have a few minutes with the children. So this was a new one for me too, to actually see firsthand. So bouncing egg. Um, the, what you need to start, you'll need three glasses. Thank you, Nick. You'll need um, vinegar in each of the glasses and you'll need three eggs. We say three, you can do as many as you want. You can just do one and, and this experiment works fine. But we did a three to do three different colors. Um, and you'll also need food coloring. So Nick, could you add food coloring to the three glasses? Yep. What this experiment is going to show is um, the results of a chemical reaction. So we're using raw uncooked eggs and um, seeing what happens with the egg when it sits in vinegar for multiple days. Now the experiment um, directions that I found online actually said 72 hours. Um, we're just shy of 72 hours and I think we're fine. It's all an experiment, we'll see what happens. But, all right, so back to our setup. Nick has now green, yellow, and blue vinegar. So, we are going to pretend that this was 72 hours ago. And what did we do 72 hours ago, Nick? So put the eggs. <coughs> put the eggs in the vinegar. Okay. Awesome. Great job, nice and gentle. And then basically what you do is you let it sit for 72 hours. Um, you do have to change the vinegar um, each day because you'll start to notice that it's not just liquid in the vinegar. Um, what you're starting to see is um, a chemical, what you'll start to see is a chemical reaction. So vinegar itself is acidic, it's an acid, and the outside, the shell of an egg is um, made up of calcium carbonate. And uh, when you expose that to an acid, there's a reaction that happens. So Nick, what happened after 72 hours to the eggs? So. We'll fast forward, pretend it's 72 hours now. Do, 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 do. Here we go. We have our final product of our eggs. And you can see there is actually no shell on them. And they feel like a bouncy ball. Ew, does it feel weird? Yes. I have to say that I have felt in myself. Um, I have texture issues sometimes and it definitely feels a little weird at first. What you wanna do is dump out the vinegar at first um, and rinse it off with tap water and it gets just the remaining bits of the shell because what's happening is that vinegar is dissolving the shell away and what's left is that thin membrane that you sometimes, if you ever hard boil an egg, you might find that thin membrane, uh, membrane excuse me, um, and that's what's left on the outside. So I'm being very daring right now. Nick, can you bounce it a little bit? Yep. Let's see if a, a raw egg bounces. Oh, man. 